What is up Aqua Sports fans? Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to give you a little rundown on a brilliant product and company uh, that I've been using for almost a year now uh, are called Rios Sunglasses, which are these little bad boys I'm wearing here and you've probably seen them in a lot of my videos. Uh, my name's Ross, uh, you probably know me from uh, either the English channel or www.englishchannel.fish uh, which is my YouTube channel or uh, the Yeti Catcher uh, on Instagram. Uh, the company Rio Sunglasses I just mentioned, I met them about a year ago uh, down in uh, Florida when I was at iCast. I was actually repping for uh, Fish Brain, the app which I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, and I was just walking past one of the stalls, got talking to him and lovely bunch of people there and I, you know, we just sort of hit it off and kindly of them they gave me my first pair of sunglasses they're like here try these out you're in fishing tournaments you're gonna get good use out of these and you know you're gonna protect your eyes I was like well that's a double whammy for me I'll take them so since then I've been using them and we've been keeping in contact um, and I've had the uh, privilege of using a lot of different types of their sunglasses that they've got different lenses um, and even their new nylon optics um, that they've just brought out in the last year as well which have been have been pretty cool um, they're a family owned business, they started back in 2016, so really young um, but they've been working their butts off to bring affordable glasses to our fishing market and to the water sports market really, not just fishing, that's what I use them for um, and they've come out with a really 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 good product. These nylons that I'm wearing now um, are so clear <laughs> and really good, I'm like looking down into the water now and I can see through the water rather than getting that glare out, you know what I mean? So. Um, I do love them and you know lastly they're part of the uh, they're a 1% for the planet member uh, which means they're doing their bit for the environment in this day and age we need to do everything we can for that so um, you know it's a, it's a big win for me they're based in America um, quality products um, quality people um, and I'm just gonna keep using them so I'm gonna try and try and give you a little bit of a lowdown on some of the tech on them um, what they're all about and hopefully you can take that information and decide for yourself whether to go pick up a pair or not. Uh, first and foremost, they're $55, the average price. Um, comparing that to a big uh, big company that's online, which are gonna be charging you around $150, $200, $250 for a pair of glasses. Um, and the point of that is, is that those glasses do not float. So if I'm leaning over my kayak and my glasses come off my face into the water, I have never seen them ever again. Good things about these, in the water they go. Oh look, I dropped them in the water. Just drain them off a little bit, back on they go. Oh look, I'm still fishing, I'm still doing my thing, I still have my eyes protected, which is the most important thing. So first and foremost, uh, this company stands out because they make floating sunglasses, which is uh, an absolutely awesome feature of them. If you're into water sports, if you're into surfing, if you're into going out on boats, if you're kayaking, whatever you do, any sort of action that could knock your sunglasses off your head, um, these are the sunglasses for you. Um, like I just showed you, if they go in the water, you pick them up, on with your day you go, and, and no love lost. Um, so it's brilliant. Uh, another thing um, is, and I, you know, the most important thing is against the sun, all right? They're protecting your eyes against the sun. Um, and they've got these new nylon optics that they have that protect you um, from anything that's four times more harmful than the regular amount of light that your eyes should be getting okay when they're reflecting off the surface of the water now a lot of people when they are looking at you know sunglasses they're like oh they have to be polarized they have to be polarized and you're like so what does polarized sunglasses mean and they're like oh, i don't know the polarized light is basically that light is all over the place it's mental right absolutely mental it's coming down from the sun coming down from the sun it hits the water but then when it comes off the water, it's hit a flat surface and it's coming up in this big flat wave and that's coming back at you, reflecting back at your eyes. And what these sunglasses do is they are coated and layered so they filter out that light coming off the water. That's why when you wear them, you can see into the water rather than seeing on top of it and the reflections on top of it. And as a fisherman, obviously, that's absolutely crucial because I get to see the fish shadows that are out, you know, far from my kayak um, and also 
what's what's underneath the boat exactly and what type of structures are down there so you know that's going to help me every single time so that in itself is is a, is a brilliant brilliant thing that we can you know take it away from your sunglasses so nylon optics capture all the benefits of glass and polycarbonate lens without the drawbacks right which is like losing them and being fragile um, they're clearer and they're lighter than glass shades so they're comfortable to wear all day whilst you have them on their clarity comfort and strength that's like the three things for me that 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 are really good about these glasses they hold up um, I can see perfectly I mean it's crystal clear when I put these things on I'm pretty sure I can see better through them than my normal old old age eyes they also protect against all UVA and UVB rays um, above 400 nanometers which is like a posh scientific word for light strength um, anything above 400 is going to be when it starts getting getting harmful towards your eyes okay so that's when they're going to be most at risk and when you want to protect them, right uh, they've also got an anti-fog coating uh, so when you're on the water uh, you're going to be active and humans are full of air and full of hot steam <laughs> and they're always perspirating uh, which means they're going to stay unmisted uh, and you're going to be able to see clear through them it's a hot day today it's about uh, I'd say 85 degrees out on the water I've got them right next to my face right next to my cheeks where I'm sweating quite profusely and uh, my glasses aren't even steaming up so you know you're going to keep that anti-fog there as well they also have an anti-scratch uh, coating which will help you uh, withstand you know everyday use you can wear these glasses every day you don't have to just wear them when you're on the boat you can wear them in the car I have a pair in my car uh, that I wear every day and I just bring them in the glove box uh, which is my older pair that I just kind of use for driving um, and they really hold up like an M1 tank they're so strong um, the, the frames are strong as well um, and it's you know they've never fallen apart in the car the lens has never fallen out um, and you know I put them through rigorous, act rigorous activity I have them on my head all the time they drop off they fall on the ground they fall out of my glove box they fall on the floor and I pick them off the floor and I put them on and every single time it's still the same clarity that I've had before big word for you uh, they have a hydrophobic coating all right <laughs> and all that means it's uh, basically a layer that's put on the glasses uh, and it scares away water so anything that comes towards it like it's if a droplet of water gets on there the water is not going to stick on there and spread out it's going to stay as like a, a droplet it's almost like if you look at wax right and you have a droplet of water on there and it just runs straight off it's like waterproof clothing but for your eyes it's brilliant Ooh, and here we go another big word for your aqua sports fans oleophobic coating yeah that's right but you're wondering what in god's name that is uh, and that comes from the Greek word, which actually Rios is also Greek, uh, for oil. Uh, and that's from the oil that is secreted from your fingers. Uh, humans are quite dirty people, if you, if you think about the science behind it. And those oils that secrete from your hands, if you get them on your glasses, that left on there can actually uh, wear away at the lens and the integrity of it. Um, so they have an oleophobic coating, uh, also protects good finger oils and other chemicals secreted by the world that can damage the average lens. Right? So there in itself, you know, it's quite some important bits and pieces um, about why these glasses rock, and they really do rock. I wish they'd help me catch more fish, though. <laughs> it's all about style. Who is hungry? Oh, come on. Yep, come on. He's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, he's a real good one. Sugar me timbers, ladies and gentlemen. We have a big one. By Rio sunglasses, they make you catch big ones. See that? See that? Beautiful. Look at that. See that? Big one. Big one. So what do I like most about these lenses? I hear you ask. Well, first thing is there is a different lens for every different light condition, and you can have that type of lens on any type of frame that they have. They have multiple different pairs. Go check them out on their website. I'll give you the website at the end. Um, and different types of lenses. So at the beginning of this video, um, I had the Eddies on and they were having like a bluey, greeny tint, which is good, really good for low light. Um, and you might think, why would I wear sunglasses in low light? Well, it's still gonna help you see into the water. It's still gonna help you see clearer. It's almost like wearing a pair of night vision goggles during the day, if you wanna think of it that way. Um, secondly, you've got those ones that you saw, they were, uh, they were my Coopers and they have like a red, yellow uh, tint uh, lens and they're really good for when that sun is really, really blaring down on you. 
uh, and you really need some stronger eye protection on there. So they're really cool. Uh, and then as you can see, you can wear stuff that's a little bit uh, more hip and cool, as they would say. Uh, I really like these, they're kind of funky. I'm going to a party at the weekend, so I'll be rocking these ones out. Um, and hopefully I'll get a few comments. You can't, you can't do wrong with a bit of black into tortoise shell, can you? So there you go. Uh, another thing that I really love about the glasses, light as a feather. Absolutely super light. I mean, they have to be in order to float. Um, but that lightness also makes them super comfortable. Uh, the other day I was out 12 hours uh, on a lake, uh, musky fishing from 6.30 in the morning. Uh, and I actually got back uh, around about seven o'clock in the evening uh, and I didn't take them off the whole day. And a lot of you will know, especially with those wiry sunglasses, you get those two marks like right here under your nose and they can actually start to hurt after a while. Didn't even notice it. So uh, absolute plus on that front. Spent the day completely eyes protected, could see into the water better. I was in shallow water too, so I could see where all the weeds are and where the weed line was. It was brilliant. Um, and we actually did bag a couple muskies. So that was really, really cool. So uh, I hope today has been a little bit uh, informative for you. Just wanted to share a little bit of knowledge. Um, big thank you to Rios Sunglasses. Uh, check them out, www.riosgear.com. Uh, That's www.riosgear.com. Uh, check them out, go have a little look around um, and you know, just discover it for yourself. 55 bucks, you're not spending 200 bucks uh, in a mainstream uh, market. Uh, you've got nothing to lose and I promise you you're not going to send them back they really are good especially if you're into water sports and everything um, you're going to do well by them uh, if you have any questions uh, please put them up on any of my videos uh, put them up on this one uh, www.theenglishchannel.fish and until next time uh, I hope that you guys are keeping your line safe and that you might catch a few more fish for sure